Hey, welcome back. <laughs> Today we are going to be looking at just some random tips and life hacks that you can find on TikTok. So let's get right into it. Tell me something a job has taught you that you will never ever forget no matter what. So pro tip, I have worked in the concert slash live entertainment industry for a decade. When a show says it is sold out, 99.99% of the time, it is not actually literally sold out. Meaning, it does not mean that every single ticket in that building is actually sold. So what happens is, the artist or the production, whoever is performing, right, they take a bunch of tickets and they hold them, which means they still exist, but they're just not available for y'all to see to purchase. And they're saving those tickets for whoever is on their guest list, their friends, families, <laughs> agents, the, the support band, the opening bands, whoever it is, every single person that is on that tour, they're pulling tickets for. Now okay. where the hat comes in is the day of the show, that list is gonna get narrowed down because they usually hold more tickets than that they actually need. So usually the day of the show, they'll narrow down to what they actually need and then they will release those tickets for sale. Now, most of the time they will not be shown online hmm. so you have to go in person to the box office hmm. it may be one hour before show maybe two hours before show but most of the time there will be tickets available wow. for example paramore just did a sold out show at my venue where i work uh in october right online everything was sold out people lined up 24 hours in advance to go to that box office they were told there are no tickets available, there are no tickets available, there are no tickets available. I kid you not, 30 minutes before doors open, the tour released 10 tickets. Oh, for only sale. 10. And those first 10 people in line got those tickets. They waited 24 hours in front of that box office to get those tickets. Ugh. So if you really want to see a show and it says it's sold out, go to the box office and just ask. It's not guaranteed, but most of the time there will be tickets available. It might be five tickets, it could be 30 tickets, you never know. But if you, it don't hurt to ask, okay? That's really good. Um, for If you really, really, really wanna go, I feel like that's a good like last ditch effort if you're down to wait. Cause I don't know about 24 hours and only 10 people got it. Like that's kind of a long wait. But if you're like a super fan, hey, that might be the way to go if you didn't get tickets online. It's worth a try as long as like the arena or whatever is nearby to you and you don't have to like go too much out of pocket to get there. This is a good like last ditch effort of way to get it. So thank you, thank you for that. It's, you never know, but if you, it don't hurt to ask, okay? Here is your friendly kitchen reminder that brown sugar is just white sugar that has molasses mixed into it. Whoa. Vanilla extract is just vanilla beans that have been soaked for at least six months in yeah. pure alcohol. Okay. Powdered sugar is just ground up white sugar. Mm -hmm. And eggs, no matter what color the shell, are the same on the inside. Mm -hmm. Coriander is the seed that turns into cilantro. Mm -hmm. They're the same thing. And mayonnaise is just egg yolk, oil, and a little bit of lemon juice. Mm -hmm. Onion powder is dried up onion. Garlic powder is dried up garlic. Yeah. And paprika is dried up peppers. Wait, this is crazy. My dad sent my mom this TikTok that was like, put your avocados submerged in water in the fridge and they'll last forever and be perfect. I didn't believe her. These avocados were in her fridge for weeks. How am I only finding out about this? Because no air. This right? hack needs no to be air? On every single news outlet now. If you have a Mac, you have to try this hack. Go to System Preferences, click on Keyboard, click on Shortcuts, then Services. Scroll down to Summarize and turn it on. To access this feature, press your browser's name in the top left, then on Services and Find Summary. Adjust it to your desired length. Huh. Here's how to self-pop, crack, or release your ear. This one is perfect to do after flying to quickly reduce inner ear pressure. What we're going to do is take our thumb and our index finger and clamp down on our earlobe. If you have piercings, I would take them out or work around them. The movement is very easy. It's a fluid motion of pulling off to the side and then up at the same time. But this one is not about force, so don't try to rip your ear off. Instead, it's about speed, so it's all about going very quickly up like this. Oh. Try to do this one gently for 10 to 15 repetitions. And if you have a lot of pressure in your ear that gets released, you might get that satisfying pop that you are looking for. But this is something that you can do throughout the day. Thank you very much for that tip. Personally, I don't need that one because my ears can actually pop on command. I'm going to try and show you in the mic, see if you can hear this, see if you can hear this. 
Also, is this like something wrong with me? Okay, I don't know if you could hear that. I just did it right into the mic. So mine can just pop at any time. I don't know why that happens, but um, yeah, let me know if there's something wrong with me, but thank you for the tip doc. Let's keep going. Pop that you are looking for, but this is something that you can do throughout the day. Who wants to get rid of their fingerprints? Sure, that works, but I don't want to smell WD-40 in my kitchen. Instead, put a little baby oil on a microfiber yep. and make small circles all over your fridge. This will leave no streaks and it smells like a That's baby. That's nice. Ah, the age old question. Are you supposed to put your dishwasher detergent pods directly into the dispenser or are you supposed to put it into the bottom of the dishwasher? I don't know. Hi, my name is Renee. I'm an appliance repair tech and I know that I've already talked about this many, many times before, but people keep asking because not everybody has seen all of my videos and that's okay. So the short version is this. Yes, you are supposed to put the detergent pod directly into the dispenser. Okay. Once upon a time, before I was better informed, I was telling people to put it into the bottom of the dishwasher as well. That is un until Cascade, one of the manufacturers of said detergent pods, reached out to me, invited me to Procter & Gamble headquarters in Cincinnati, Ohio, and I got to talk to their scientists <laughs> directly. And they told me that you are in fact supposed to put the pod directly into the dispenser. If you don't put it directly into the dispenser, about 80% of the pod gets washed away wow. in the rinse cycle. If it seems like the pod's getting stuck and it's not dispensing, that's usually either because you have dishes in front of the dispenser door so it won't open all the way, or because the dispenser or your hands are wet when you're putting it in there and it gets sticky. But yeah, directly from Cascade, put it in the dispenser. That's what I do anyways so good to go this is the best thing i've ever done while traveling so you need to start it now i want you to vlog and you don't need to be like hey guys welcome back to my channel and i'm not talking like heavily edited instagram videos or travel videos nothing like that when you're out i just want you to hold your phone like really close to you or near you and i just want you to vlog what you're doing and then every now and again just like film yourself like in your hostel room or whatever just like chat with the camera about how you're feeling in that moment if you had a really nice dinner just film it like put it on landscape mode and then edit them together at the end of each place you've gone to and put it on YouTube as an unlisted link. This means that if anything ever happens to my phone, all my videos are on YouTube and I have got memories of my entire trip every single day, even if I'm just walking around, weird, funny moments you catch on camera that you're not gonna get from like an Instagram reel or not even like remember properly. It's the best thing I've done. I even send the links to my family so that they can watch what we're doing and they can keep up with us without me having to be like, and then we did this and then we did this. They just watch the video, they're like 10 minutes long per place. Best thing I've ever done. That's pretty good. You can also, like what I do is I just email stuff to myself because like, I'm not paying for iCloud. No thanks. Just email it to yourself or um, you can even just back it up on a drive. Same thing, but uh, pretty cool YouTube because then you can share it with people very easily. So that's actually pretty good. Pretty good. This video is for everyone in my comment section saying that their water has never gotten superheated in the microwave so therefore it can't possibly be true. I don't care how rare it is because this is what can happen so this is why I made the video about it because as you can see there was no indication that the water was too hot and then they put the coffee in and it completely exploded and they could have gotten severe burns and ended up in the ER. But what's happening here? Well the water was heated beyond its boiling point because it didn't boil. Why didn't it boil? Because it was in a glass container that didn't allow the bubbles to form because the sides of the container were too smooth. So when the coffee was put in that allowed the water to turn rapidly from its liquid form to its gaseous form and cause that explosion. What can you do? Well, first, don't heat your water in the microwave for too long. 90 seconds, you should be okay. Anything longer than that, you'll probably want to use something to tap the glass that would allow the superheated pockets to disperse and the water to come to an equilibrium. But you want to make sure that you're far enough away so that if it does explode, you won't be it's injured. Scary. Also, you could put something like a chopstick inside of the glass that would allow the bubbles a place to form and allow them to come up to the surface, causing the water to boil. Wow. tip. Do you want to avoid watermarks on your glass shower doors? I got you. Get some rain eggs from Home Depot and a microfiber towel. This is definitely a housekeeper secret and I just thought I'd share it with you guys because it's life changing. Make sure you allow it to dry completely and the water will just slide right up. Like and follow for more. Well, wow, very, very interesting. Okay, thank you guys so much for those tips. I hope we all learned something today. Be careful with the water in the microwave. That's super scary. Um, hasn't happened to me before. I used to microwave eggs all the time, as gross as that is. Like I would microwave them in a cup with some like peas and corn in it. Oh my God, that sounds so gross. Um, and nothing happened, but then I started seeing all these videos of people's eggs exploding in the microwave. So I don't do that anymore. Um, don't do it either. And yeah, yeah, we learned something. We can be safe now. Thank you so much for watching.
check out my channel if you want to see more TikTok reactions and I'll have new videos coming out all throughout the month. Got tons you can watch already and I really appreciate you being here. It means so much to me. We broke 100 subscribers somehow, which is like, ah, there's 100 people. Eh, that's crazy. So yeah, thank you so much. Hi, kitty. My cat's just coming in now. Hi. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.